What's up, Lantern TV? We are back yet again with another two-minute drill post-game analysis. Here with sports editors Jacob Binge and Jack Emerson. Guys, Jackson Smith and Jigba, he really showed out. He's This is his third consecutive week as the leading receiver. And uh, just what he do today to be able to break David Boston's single-game reception record? Yeah, Casey, you mentioned there, uh, J JSN really approached several receiving records. You know he's close in uh, receiving yards, finished with 240, ultimately broke the receptions record with 15. That, that record stood uh, with David Boston for over 24 years. So just to see him, and especially without Garrett Wilson, it just shows how important he is to the offense, even with Chris Olave on the other end of the sideline or even right next to him in the slot. So to see a young guy like that flash, uh, I think it's a good sign for Ohio State uh, going into the future with him as a receiver. Yeah, for sure. And for the second straight week, Jack, without Noah Ruggles, the kicker of all people, you don't really point to a kicker and say he's the reason why you win. But today, like last week against Penn State, he was. Oh, definitely. And, I mean, I think you saw that clutch gene come out like last week against Penn State. He had that kick that iced the game. I mean, this time around it was a 47-yard kick into the wind. And I think that just shows you the trust that Ryan Day has in his kicker and the trust that the offense has in this kicker, especially when they're uh, struggling to score in the red zone. Yeah, for sure. That screen pass, like Ryan Day said, just to set up the field goal, get into field goal range, kick that game-winning kick before Steel Chambers sealed it with the interception. Uh, Ohio State, they came away with a 26-17 victory after a couple kneel downs afterward. And that'll do it from Memorial Stadium for Jacob and Jack. I'm Casey Smith. We'll see you next time, next week against Purdue.